um well i just show it in the live demo here and then just click by uh, processing okay and then okay and then click test okay and then for the sender system i'm just choosing the uh, mobile this the mobile whatever just for debugging okay for the receiver nothing uh, for the nothing here because it's the it's a synchronized one a synchronized one for the test inbound message i'm choosing the one um choosing the one test inbound message that's the one i would like to using for my testing here for debugging here and then i just click save it save the setting here and then i will have to have a look at the um, inbound message to be sure everything is, is the right one so this the inbound message uh, the loot tag is get dog list this were the two uh, trigger the our step for the processing and then now i can run it okay and then now I can have a debug. Oh, my circle server um, um, having some problem there. So I just need to um, troubleshooting a little bit. The troubleshooting is causing um, my I'm I'm using the I think the JDBC connection for my um, AU demo company is not the right one. So I'm just going back to my company uh, because I'm. I'm using the JDBC to uh, query the, this company um, for for this one. So I think the test connection, make sure the test connection should be succeed. So it's the same error here. So the test connection, I just need to to modify the password because I modify the password. Okay, um, test connection success. And then I would like to um, test once again. Come back to scenario. Just open my step and then process. And test. And then it's just wrong to debugging once again. And debug. Okay, I get the, all of the information here. So you can see that this the execution um, flow, um, the code, um, the donate pro, pro donate and client send their um, sub request, so send them um, the web service requ uh, uh, call request, and then it will trigger, uh, trigger by the uh, trigger this step to processing because the um, the inbound is the get dog list, so it will trigger this step for the processing, and in the during the processing, the first step. Um, you will call the business one. Um, you will call business one with the circle statement. And then let's have a look at the um, step by one by one. The result one by one. If you click the the red um, um, arrow here, and then you will see the result um, for the from the last step. So it's triggered by call, and there's the package, the blue tag, okay. And then if we have a look at the the second one after the if you would like to have a look at the the result set of the circle call just click the next arrow here and then you will you will see the hold payload incoming as you can see that's the circle statement and that's the result set that's the result set and uh, now we call it um get order of sales order norman norm thompson and the total amount dog day and something like that uh call it by the quality statement here so so the next step um the next step it is the final to do the transformation because we expect to get the um, soap response as another format not the result set format so we haven't but we haven't done the transformation we haven't done the transformation the last step so a very simple one is just we need to get them uh, we need to transform um, the result from actor one 
um, in this format from this format into the final format into the final format um, into the final format here we need to put it into the receiver format here this is the sender the sender as you can see the sender is the request is very simple get all this right let's get all this and then there's the for the first call for the source first call to uh, call a statement so called code and this is the final call the final code will be hand over the result um, back to the caller uh, to the donate project um, there okay so next what we are going to do is implement the actum zero uh, for the transformation so if you if we uh, if you have a look at the um, have a look at the here and that's the next thing we need to do is do the actum zero for the final transformation so just um, open this one and if you're familiar with the XML style suit and then you can easily to transform the result set um, um, circle result into the um, the target solve response so I just forgot to make it and print print all right that's the um, here I would like to have in the transformation here okay um, I would like to having the, the format like this uh, the format like I'm not going to um, coding one by one I would like to having the format um, like this like the get response and then get result and row for each row we need I need to move the whole um, the whole result set um, one by one to get the row and then convert the, the format into this one so for the XML style should what I need to do is just prepare the things like this that's the final transformation and uh, compliant with this one and uh, this is the target one so I will get the dog response and then get the list and then for each for each the, the code from the actum 0 uh, from actum 1 the result is from the actum 1 actum 1 is the circle code there and then JDBC code is out and then for each row um, for the quick demo I'm not going to type and um, for all of the things here I would like just to copy this one or you can um, you can make it um, as what what you want there uh, to, it depends on the format you you like because I, I'm looking for the format uh, like this get response and get result and for each of the um, call result for each call result for each row if you have a look at the, the row result there and then you will see okay and now if I debug once again I suppose to get the, the right result there Just for the um, return. Okay, and then if I if I run once again, and then if I try to debug once again, click debug and to see the final the final transformation from here. The final transformation. I just would like to look at the this is the call result result set and result road and then as you can see I get the uh, the format what I want get document list and the document result and row for each row I have a doc entry card code card name and doc date um, like this okay the very uh, very simple one the first scenario we are almost um, having one done but I would like to uh, introduce something uh, very important um, maybe very interesting for you uh, maybe for this requirement maybe we would like to not get a very um, general interface not get talk list not just get a, the sales order but I would like to get the invoice I would like to get uh, the delivery and as well if I I pass the information I would like to having the requirement instead I would like to make the uh, the get talk list the more uh, flexible and then configurable let's say if I having the document type as the um, um, or the table name as ORDR I would like to introduce the variable to replace the uh, the hard code ORDR here so uh, the information what I get from the from here from the doc list okay so that's the uh, first scenario and the second one I would like to introduce 